This tutorial will illustrate some of the select options available within SAP 2000. Selects are used to assign properties and loads, to edit and delete objects, and to selectively display tabular data. The first select is the pointer window, which is also available on the toolbar. A single click on an object will select it. Items selected are indicated in the lower left-hand corner. The same command can be used to do a window select. Drawing the window from left to right will select all objects that lie completely within the window. If we use this command once more, but this time draw the window from right to left, any object touched by the window or lying within the window will be selected. Note that the selected items are highlighted with dashed lines. Next, we will use the poly select, which is similar to a window select in that any objects which lie within the polygon are selected. Hit the inner key to complete the poly select. Next is the intersecting poly select, which selects any objects touched by the polygon or which lie within the polygon. A powerful selection command is the specified coordinate range select. Here we can identify whether or not the objects need to be completely within the range to be selected, what types of objects to be selected, and the range in each direction. Here we are asking all joints to be selected. We will use the same command once more. Again, only selecting point objects. But this time we will set the selection range in the X direction to be between the values of 0 and 18. This selects only the joints on the right half of the truss. All objects lying in a given plane can be selected by using the click joint in plane commands. The select lines parallel to command allows for the selection of all line objects parallel to a given line, axis, or plane. The Select Properties command allows for the selection of objects by the properties assigned to them. Here we select by frame sections. We can also select by joint assignments. Here we wish to select all supports that are restrained in the global X direction. Note that the program has selected only the left support as the right support is free to translate in the X direction. The Select Using Tables command is a powerful option for the non-graphical selection of objects. Here we will uncheck all but the connectivity data box. 
Clicking on a frame, such as frame 11, highlights this object in the model. Next, we will filter the table to include only frame objects whose X centroid is greater or equal to zero. Now we can use the select command to select all of the frame objects in this currently reduced table. Note that only the frame objects whose centroids are at or to the right of the origin are selected. A very useful select is the get previous selection command, which also shows up on the toolbar. Clicking this command simply selects the same objects from the previous selection. The invert selection command selects all objects not selected at the time the command is invoked. Last but not least is the select all command, which selects all objects. And the clear selection command, which is useful if you have made a mistake in your selection. This concludes this tutorial on the select command.